Have you ever wondered if the Quran and modern science may actually be speaking the same language? As we embark on this journey, it's important to note that the Quran, written over 14 centuries ago, is not a book of science but a book of signs. These signs, however, point towards some startling correlations with modern science, stirring curiosity in the minds of scholars and scientists alike. Consider the Quran as a time capsule, a message from the past that seems to echo scientific facts we are only now beginning to unravel. From the intricacies of embryology to the vast complexities of the cosmos, there are verses in the Quran that seem to resonate with these scientific discoveries. While it's not a textbook of science, the Quran's verses hold a profound depth of meaning, hinting at concepts that align with our current understanding of the universe. Surprisingly, it seems that the Quran may have been ahead of its time speaking about concepts that science is only now beginning to understand. Consider this, what if the universe was indeed formed from a smoke, as stated in Quran 41.11, a concept remarkably similar to the Big Bang Theory. Now let's delve into the science in the verses. Quran, the holy book of Islam, contains numerous verses that resonate with modern scientific facts. Take for instance the verse that speaks of the expanding universe, a concept that aligns with cosmologists' widely accepted theory of an ever-expanding cosmos. The Quran also touches on embryology, describing the stages of fetal development in a way that mirrors what we know today through medical science. Even the field of geology is not left untouched, with verses hinting at the Earth's crusts, layers, and the continuous movement of mountains, concepts that resonate with plate tectonics. These verses, when viewed through the lens of modern science, present a striking correlation that is difficult to ignore. Does this mean that the Quran is a scientific text or that science is a form of religious doctrine? Not necessarily. Imagine a Venn diagram with two circles, one representing the Quran, a book of faith and guidance, and the other representing science, a discipline of observation and reason. The intersection, though not a perfect overlap, is more significant than one might think. The Quran isn't a science textbook, and science isn't a form of religious doctrine. Yet there are verses in the Quran that remarkably align with modern scientific facts, suggesting that faith and knowledge can harmoniously coexist. This isn't about pitting Quranic verse against scientific theory, or vice versa. It's about recognizing the potential for synergy between faith and knowledge, between belief and understanding. It's about acknowledging that science doesn't necessarily undermine faith. Rather, it can deepen it, providing tangible evidence of the wonders that faith speaks to. In the end, the Quran and science, far from being at odds, may actually be different paths leading us to the same truth, the marvel of existence itself.